Greetings folks, this video is all about differential thrust using the FR Sky Tyrannus QX7, X9D Plus, uh, X Lite, all of those radios, anything with Open TX on it. Differential thrust relates to planes with two motors. Ignition on drift mode. And what we do is mix rudder in with the two motors so that we can turn the plane using the rudder as well as the thrust of different motors. Very useful for taxiing on the ground, uh, also for aggressive turns in the sky. I don't really like having differential thrust on in the sky. Mostly it's useful for taxiing on the ground. That's why I like to have it on a switch so that I can switch it off in the air, just use rudder, switch it on in the ground. Just for taxiing on the ground. Okay, here's how we do it. Bear in mind we are using throttle mixing, which is dangerous on a live plane, so I tend to turn the battery off. Got a little switch the there to disconnect lost. my battery and do all the mixing looking at the display screen. Now let's, see, let's have a look at it on the display screen. Motors on channel 3 and channel 5, you can see them moving there. Rudder on channel 4. Ailer on channel 1, elevator channel 2. So let's go to the mixer page. So we have throttle on channel 3 and channel 5. Now what we're trying to do is operate the throttle on each motor individually using the rudder stick. So we just add this second line to each of the throttle channels. Source is the rudder. The weight is whatever you want. If you want aggressive turning then you'd, you'd have that higher. Less turning you'd have it lower. 50 is good for me and just select the direction which gives you the correct effect. Same for the other channel, channel 5. Rudder is the source, weight is 50. Now I've also put that on a switch so that I can switch the effect off. SB switch in the middle position drift activates drift mode or taxiing mode which activates the differential thrust any other position and it's off. And I also have the throttle cut switch set up in special functions, SA switch in the up position, that's that one there, overrides channel 5 and channel 3, minus 100 and ticket to turn it on. So that's the basic throttle cut switch. You remember you have to do both of them. Usually you would only have channel 3 on the throttle cut switch but you have to do both of them. And to turn differential thrust on and off, we've got the SB switch. And that's all there is, so let's just have a look at that effect. Have a look at the effect on the screen here. Normal throttle working on channel 3 and channel 5. Rudder working on channel 4. Turn on differential thrust and we get pushing right rudder, the left motor spools up. Pushing left rudder, the right motor spools up. And even with a little bit of uh, throttle on, the effect still works. Okay, let's uh, turn the motor on and have a look at the differential thrust in motion. Telemetry recovered. Just rudder working there. Ignition turn the motor, turn on. the ignition on. Both working together. Turn drift mode on. Motors working individually linked up to the rudder. And that's it. Thanks for watching.